Right guys, I'm going to be doing a bit of gaming today on the Steam Deck and uh, first of all I'm going to be doing uh, some gaming on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and on the iPhone 14 Pro Max I'll be using the DualSense controller of course, this one over here it is currently connected to the Steam Deck uh, which is in the background so I, s I first want to set up the Steam Deck before I do some gaming on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold uh, 6 let me unlock this phone right so it's actually unlocked and I'm just gonna leave it like this for a while right so the first thing I want to do with my uh, Steam Deck is obviously log into it I did eventually fix it um, what I had to do is I had to um, I used driver booster the one I told you guys that I got from Steam it's a it's an application well it's a, it is an app but it's also like a, a program and um, the other thing I've done is that I had to look uh, do a few updates and the blue screen stuff has stopped now right so this is Windows Mobility Center I'm gonna start up uh, this thing called sound that's the one that pops out right so I was actually zooming in on the Samsung so I think that's why it was blurry so I'm just going to tell you all the programs that I'm going to run on the Steam Deck. I'm going to start up uh, this AMD Power Control Panel. It does take a bit of time to start up, but it will eventually start. I'm also going to start up Steam. Playing from Geotrans. I'm going to start up Steam. AMD Power Control Panel basically uh, controls the voltage of the Steam, of the Steam Deck. Uh, it also allows the Steam Deck to get slightly more um, it, it, it allows the Steam Deck to use more power basically it says Terminator resistance has fallen to $6.74 it says uh, 9 souls I think if that's the correct term name for the game has fallen to $20 it says midweek sale Grim Dawn uh, is also gone down from $20 to $4 and uh, it says there's another franchise sale, Kingdom Hearts, and it's about $58. I don't know if it's new, but it's fallen from a different price as well. Then it's saying uh, games from Costia.com, midweek deal. Uh, so it says click for more details. And then it says Steam Space Explorations uh, first. So there's, a quite, there's quite a few. F These are like sales, you know, for games. I'm going to change this from 10 watts to 49 watts. Right, so before I change this, it's saying that um, TDP sustain is 10 watts, the slow limit is 10, fast limit is 10, GPU maximum frequency is right now it says zero. Then it says maximum processor uh, frequency is 1100, which is 1.1 gigahertz. It's saying active profile is actually 10. I'm going to change this to 49. And you see it does change. TDP now is 49, slow limit is 49, fast limit 49, GPU maximum frequency from 0 to 400, uh, maximum uh, processor frequency from 1100 to 3500, and maximum port cost, that one said uh, 4, this is now 3, and active profile does say 49 watts, and uh, default profile does say 10 watts. Right, I'm moving everything to my Acer monitor. The Steam Deck is connected via uh, a hub and uh, the Acer monitor is connected using a um, using a HDMI cable obviously through the hub. Right, the other program I'm going to uh, start up on Steam Deck is called Set Timer Resolution. I told you guys you can download this from, for free uh, from, um, you can download this for free from, uh, what do you call this thing? Uh, oh yeah, from the internet, sorry. Uh, set timer resolution, what does it do? It's it's supposed to help with um, with your resolution. I do use it on my laptop, so it's, it doesn't affect the laptop that much. But I do use it on the laptop, and uh, it, it does its thing. I mean, if it's supposed to do something, it does something. But it's, it's good just to have it. Right, my power plan that I'm using is called Quick CPU. I told you guys can you you can download this for free from the internet. I do actually use this power plan on my laptop as well. It's really good. I mean, uh, the power plan itself unpacks cores, 
It's uh, it's called Quick CPU. You can see the name there. It unpacks cores. Uh, if you set this to maximum resolution, it will unpack your cores on your Steam Deck. So it does exactly the same thing AMD Power Control uh, Control Panel does. Uh, this unpacks your cores. It also will show the voltage that your Steam Deck uses, and it will show you what uh, each core is is taking up in in voltage in watts. And it will also show the temperature of your your uh, CPU or GPU, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it shows the it shows the temperature of the Steam Deck. Right now it says fifty nine degrees Celsius. Uh, utilization of RAM is about eight or seven or nineteen percent. Uh, I think it flu it's fluctuating. It keeps going up and down. And then uh, the the speed. Of course, uh, on AMD Power Control Panel, I've set it to three point five gigahertz. This will go up when I start gaming. It's got little graphs here. It can show you. The good thing about this is that this is real-time information. I told you guys, don't put everything like cluttering on your screen. Steam Deck screen is too small for that, right? So I like to put this on the Acer monitor. Now, the advantage of putting this on the Acer monitor is I can monitor this much better. Right, last but not least, I think there's a program that I want to run as well. Um... I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, DS for Windows. You do not need this program. I know you're thinking, do I need to have this program? No, you don't. Um, the Steam Deck is like a PC. It's like a laptop. It's like a computer. All you need to do now, because I think they improved it, is plug and play. Just connect a, uh, any USB cable to your Xbox or Joseph's controller, and the Steam Deck should recognize it. Why do I use this? Because by the time I, f I, f I found that all out, I didn't know that 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 had happened. That it's now plug and play. Anyway, the the color is purple, and you can see there's purple. So it is using that program. From time to time, it does show that little dot in the middle, and then these lines will change color. But it doesn't matter because they're saying it's connected. Right. So any profile I run here will run on the on the Jolson's controller. So this is mapping. So I will show you quickly a profile. I'm just going to show you a profile. So if I want to say edit, right? Um, let me try and make this bigger. This is the controller, yes? So anything, let's say I wanted to, ch to change what triangle does. Whatever I set this to will be set to there. But I'm not doing that now because that's the default profile. I'm just trying to show you what this profile, what this uh, program does. So at least for you guys, then you can say, well, we don't understand the program. The program changes what the buttons on the DualSense controller will do. So let's say you're playing a game and I don't like the fact that this is for sprinting, for running. I would prefer to be this one or this one because obviously I'm controlling it here and here. Looks a bit weird. Maybe I'm gonna change it to this one. Or I want to put jump here or crouch in a different way. I can map it there. That's what mapping is. You change what the buttons do. So that's what I use this program for. So I hope you understand. I'm not going to change the buttons. Like I said, this is a default profile, so I'm not going to change anything. I'm using the Xbox gamepad. I do have DS5, but I think Xbox is more recognized. So that's what this program does. So if you didn't understand what DS4 Windows is, now you understand. It just changes what the buttons on your controller do. Does it work? Yes, it works. I mean, you can see it's connected, right? I mean, how do you tell? Well, the color there, this color is purple. And what color is this? Look at the color. That is like a purple. Uh, well, it looks like a reddish color, but it's like a purple. And look at the controller. What color is the, the lines here? Right? Uh, let me not do this. Like, like here, look. Sorry, I was just, the cursor was there. It wasn't showing it correctly. That color and that color, they are the same color. That's how you know it's connected. I mean, this color is the same. It also tells me it's a DualSense controller. It says so here, DualSense. It says status is uh, that that sign symbol is for uh, cable, you know, because it it recognizes a cable USB cable, so it knows. And then here it says the percentage is a hundred percent, so it knows that your gamepad is at a hundred percent. So it's it's got a lot of information there, right? So the first thing and foremost is you want to jump into this. I yeah, you see it's taking up the whole screen. I'm gonna go to manage downloads. There's nothing to download. That's fine. I'm actually going to have um, a game running in the background, I think. I don't want to jump straight into Call of Duty, but I'm thinking like Call of Duty might be the best game to have. 
but the thing is i do want to focus mainly on here you know but then i'm wondering if uh, if this is gonna work like is this going to um be the way i want well you know i just remember this uh this jules this is the wireless speaker it's actually connected to the samsung galaxy that's the z fold 6 right there and this this video right now is not supposed to be about the steam deck i was just talking about steam deck because i was setting it up it's actually about my samsung so this is connected this is the pt uh dash 390 it's a bluetooth uh speaker it's also waterproof it's rugged it's waterproof rugged means you see how thick it is with rubber if you drop this it wouldn't suffer too much damage it also answers calls it's called king's king's fort but the model number of this is p t uh dash three nine zero it's also got um some connectors on the top there and uh yeah it's not particularly clean because i put this everywhere yeah i mean look at it it's 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 meant to be used that way it's easy to clean i mean it's 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 all one color anyway it's easy to clean this but i'm just saying the whole factor is it's a bluetooth waterproof speaker that answers your calls if it's connected to your phone and it's it is uh got a power bank it is a power bank as well you can carry this around with you and charge up your phone via this you see it's very good i only got this thing for ten dollars right so i just realized that it was too close to me i've connected it i need to put this in another place because it's gonna be a bit loud now right uh there's my miniature keyboard that i use on my laptop right i'm gonna put that on the side that's the keyboard i got for the steam deck that's connected by the hub right this thing here i have to disconnect it because i'm now going to connect it here and then use it on the samsung instead to play games the only purpose i was showing you guys is I was just showing you my setup on Steam Deck. So now that purpose is done, I don't need to have, I, I don't need to show you guys what I'm doing now because obviously I've already told you how I set it all up. Right, let's get to the gaming. Okay, so um, I just need to set the Samsung up nicely. I've just set setting it properly, you know, this is sitting on something right so i will first show you that this is the samsung oh yeah i forgot the stylus is here so that's the z46 how can you tell uh the square design everything here is square this actually has a screen protector on it now but uh i don't remove this thing you, you can tell this is a six it's so square it's a, it's a square design. Look at the camera camera bumpers. These are much thicker than the other one. Because remember the other one didn't have all these uh, weird bumper things. Just as the cameras. The 5 is also round. And this one is much shorter than the, the 5. You see? Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. If you believe me or not, it's fine. I, I just want to do a bit of gaming now. Uh, I need to check. I think I had opened something on this. Oh yeah, settings was open. Right, so the other thing you would, might want to do is, before gaming, uh, try to go into your settings. And in your settings, select this thing called, just uh, when you go in the search bar, just type MSA. And you see it says four, uh, four times. Uh, let me see if I can just zoom in uh, a little bit better here. When it says four, four times MSAA, just enable this. Make sure it's enabled. Mine's enabled. What does this do? It helps you with gaming. Right? It helps with gaming. Ah, yeah. The other thing I want to do is I uh, just remembered. Um, you need to go into Bluetooth. You see the speakers connected, the PT-390. Uh, I need to connect this uh, DualSense controller. So, all we're going to do now is just press on the PlayStation logo, which is in the middle. It's going to start flashing. And there you go. DualSense wireless controller is connected. So, it's all good. And now start our gaming close this uh this has a launcher so that's the launcher right there it is connected via uh, bluetooth to the samsung and now i'm gonna be doing some gaming i just want to use the stylus it's a whole lot easier games that don't you work with the stylus um for no no wait uh call of duty mobile PUBG mobile and Fallout 84 for some reason don't work with the DualSense. The Fallout you can play with the DualSense, but uh, there's a lot of options that you can't use, unfortunately. This does have Game Pass. I do have um, 
cloud gaming. I've shown you cloud gaming, but I do prefer playing the Fortnite mobile instead. This already has that. And of course, I have Epic Games Store. And uh, it says update permission. Okay. I don't know what it wants me to do. Right, I've I've tried to press on this. It won't let me do it. Right. Uh, okay, that was weird. Right, so anyway. Um, right, so the, this is the... I did have four guys installed last time. I've taken that off. I just wanted to test the game. There's Fortnite right there. Uh, there's uh, Rocket uh, League Sideway. And there's Post uh, Party. I don't know what that one is. I never played it. And this is the actual game. Fortnite. You can see that it's in store and open. It shows you all the screenshots. And every time this game updates, these screenshots will change. It also tells you what the game requires. This requires an internet connection powered by Unreal Engine. It also tells you what you must have, how big the game size is. Download size is uh, 163.1 megabytes. It shows you the app uh, permissions. Um, it used to show the requirements for the phone. But I think those have been removed now because it's not here. It, well, okay, okay. No, it's here. It says uh, Fortnite requires an internet connection, Android 8.0 or higher. Uh, you need a 64-bit processor, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, and a GPU, Adreno 530 or higher, Mali-G71 MP20 or Mali-G72 uh, MP12 or higher. Not compatible with Fortnite. You can still download other great games uh, on the Epic Games app. And then it tells you the version of app this is. And like I said, this is the actual um, Epic Games uh, thingy app. So if you jump in this, that's the app, you see. Then it's not the same as the launcher. Uh, you can launch it from the, uh, from the Epic Games or from uh, just Fortnite right there. Right, so I'm going to play War Robots first. And remember, I'm playing this with the Jolson's controller. Uh, the controller is connected via Bluetooth. I just need to change the volume. It's a bit way too loud. Right. Uh, want to see what, what they want me to do today. Just making sure that all the stuff is done properly. Right, let me show you guys a trick or two. Um, I told you last time, just tap on circle. This tapping on the circle is just so much quicker. The tapping on the circle is, is so much quicker, you see? Like that. Just tap the circle. Oh, wow. It wanted to give me something. <laughs> that was so weird. It wanted to give me something. I, I, I don't know what I did. I was giving me a tamer. I wish it would give me a hurricane. The hurricane would be so much more useful. I want a bit of gold. Oh, okay, I don't have... I'll need to play the game then. How did I get into this uh, thing? How do I go back to the robots? That's the, the motherships. I don't even know how I got into that thing. Something about Hemingdale. Let's go to the cup. Let's give me 350 gold. That's nice. Let's go to the supply center. Tap this. I like to double tap on this because it just goes a whole lot quicker. Oh no! <laughs> oh wow. Uh. Right, I just I just uh, made a bit of a thing there. It's uh, it seems like it didn't understand what I wanted it to do. 
right i've i've got an old style xbox controller here so i'm gonna use this old style xbox controller on my steam deck because the the game the DualSense controller i'm actually using on um on the steam on the samsung right now so i can't use it on the steam deck and i just pressed on that video by mistake <laughs> so yeah that was kind of one of those things wow he gave me 1350 gold damn that was dope that was so nice all right let's see what he wants it says achieve double kills 10 times I'm not gonna go into too much details, guys. I'm just let, let's just get straight into the game. Let's see, no data pads. Let's see what's happening in the leaderboards. Nothing. I think that's a new leaderboard one. Let's see. It's saying uh, right. So it's it's giving a new uh, data pad thing going on. So let's get into a match quickly. I got to put. I have to do double kills. Ten double kills. 